Hey, what's going on guys? Willis here back with another Genshin Impact video. Pretty cool one for you guys today. You're going to like this. It's regarding the building in 1.5. Before we jump into today's video, obviously support the video with a like. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I post a bunch of Genshin Impact videos. If you guys like Primal Gems, I'm giving away 10,000 Primal Gems. Head over to my Discord, go to the Genshin Giveaway channel, and you can enter there. It's completely free. So, jump into today's video. So, Pretty cool building tip for you guys today. This is pretty cool. I want to give a massive shout out to uh, Kajirian over on Reddit. This is where I saw it and I thought it was really freaking cool. Now, you guys are probably aware if you've got to the, the stone stage, let's call it, where you get these massive pillars. Now, these pillars, obviously, they can actually merge with other rocks, which is really freaking cool. Now, as you can see here, this is something we're, we're looking to pull off in this video. So, basically, a building that sort of almost connected to another building on top of like i guess the stone and it, it just looks kind of cool right if you build it in the right way you can make a, a really cool looking city i think um i'm not really creative so i kind of just went unga bunga with it and this is what we got but for those of you creative like artists builders out there animal crossing connoisseurs this is going to be a really cool little building tip so essentially how it works is you can actually stack uh, buildings on top of these pillars and basically when you do it they give the building no collision what does that mean so by moving the pillar i can actually move this building into another building like this so say you were going for a super like cram packed sort of building look it would be really freaking cool and you can make some really cool sort of layouts for your houses just by doing this like if you had a bunch of houses and you kind of just wanted to make like a crowded super big city maybe on top of like a bunch of stone it'd be really cool so how do you do this so obviously i think you need to be around level three it is yeah level three is when you get the the stone pillars and i guess some of the houses i'm using the monstad uh house with overhanging attic i think this house works the best um, also, if you have uh, this house here, the multi-arched Mondstadt building, I think if you're level three, you probably have these by now, which you can craft. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much how it works. You, you're going to need these things by here, these pillars. They are called the subspace boulders, Verdant Peak. Uh, you're going to need four of them. And pretty much how you do it, you get four of them like this. And you basically just clip them together like this. You clip them and you make sort of a cube. Once you've made a little cube like this, like there, you should be able to pick your house up and just put the house on top like this. It may take a bit of a, oh, did it first try then, I'm surprised. Uh, and you just confirm it. And basically that house is now clipped to one of the boulders. And to find out which one it's actually clipped to, you basically just drag it away. There you go, it's clipped to this right one here. So this house is actually clipped on top of this boulder. So you can pretty much then go ahead and use the other ones for basically doing the same thing there's also a bunch of other boulders this works with as well so if you wanted to do it with maybe this one here the subspace uh slumbering stratus it'll actually work on that as well uh, i think you can actually get two of these together and you can also get this building on top of those but once we've done something like this we can sort of drag it towards our city that we're building maybe and we can just rotate it. Essentially, this boulder is acting like the house isn't on top of it. So we can just drag this boulder wherever we want. And we can just make this really cool sort of like cityscape, sort of crowded, cram-packed sort of thing. And I don't know, it just it just looks really cool, right? I mean, it's not very impractical, obviously. You have to climb up the mountain to get to your house. But the way I guess you would think of it is like maybe all the houses are connected in a way. So you sort of just enter from like the basement down here, go through the houses, and that's pretty much how they get to their houses. I think it's really cool. You're sort of making like a little mini apartment complex. I think it's awesome. Um, but yeah, let me know if this is a little helpful tip. Once again, big massive shout out to Kajirian over on Twitch here. So you can also get really high with this as well. So what we can do, we can do this. Look, we can put these here like this just span around so we can put this like here look we can take this and we can actually put these on top like this maybe if we position it correctly we can make like a super high house but it's a bit tricky it's something you definitely have to like mess around with 
but if you get it right it looks freaking awesome because you've got these super high houses i really want to get this i really want to get this there we go holy okay there we go that is cool that is cool there we go we've got this really freaking high house just connected there and i don't know it kind of merges the houses together it looks really awesome um you can cover up all this bottom clutter by the way with these houses they're called the multi-arched uh monstad buildings um what you can also do is here you can grab these so let me show you guys an example so you can use this here like this grab like a bunch of these and i think you can actually put these on top like this i'm trying to figure out because i'm pretty sure it does clip eventually so maybe i think i actually need these maybe but you, you see the gist of it pretty much you put enough down so the building actually has something to sit on and then you take them away one by one so i think this house is actually a bit harder to do okay we, we have four of these so i think we can actually do it with this this is going to be huge actually one there let's move this over here actually we need to move this let's move it there and then we'll put this here here we go surely that's enough space right surely that's enough space let me drag this on like that we drag it around like there hmm interesting maybe i didn't clip them uh close enough because you do have to clip them quite far in so there is no gap so there is enough space so let's try it one more time rotate it maybe no maybe not but you, you sort of get the gist of it these ones are normally for filling in the the gaps at the bottom so yeah if you're trying to fill in the gaps at the bottom these are i think the best ones but you sort of get the gist of it um you get all these pillars by the way from level three i'm pretty sure level three trust rank so it's really awesome uh but yeah if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like down below um, once again, be sure to go follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash Willis Gaming TV. We started up a new little um, cool thing we're doing every single week. We're actually visiting people's islands and the best island, the ones we visit, are actually going to get Primo Gems. So if you're really good at building and you want to show off your building skills, um, we're going to be doing that on the weekend. It'll either be Saturday or Sunday we'll start visiting people's islands. But let me know what you think. Um, I'll leave the founder and stuff in the video description for this because it's a really cool trick and I'm definitely going to be using it a lot to build these really cool cities. Um, but yeah, other than that, jump in the Discord. Make sure to go enter the 10k Primogem giveaway. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.